looking beyond what we see. What are we here for? Right? What are we here for? Somebody, y'all, y'all just, y'all just tell people. Yeah. What's some things that you guys came out here for? Baptism. 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 Girls. What? what? Fellowship. Fellowship. Being in position. Being in position. Awesome. Being in position. Anything else? Hmm. Assembling with Yahweh, right? How many people, by the way, have gone out of their way before to make sure that you celebrated a biblical holy day with people that you believe with? This year? This year? Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe we've done it, maybe we have. Right, so, so this is very new to us. Right? It's been real easy for us to not look beyond what we see. What do I mean? Like, you saw Christmas, so you did Christmas. Now, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1 through 5 says what? Don't be like the pagans. Don't go into the woods. Don't cut down a tree. Don't paint it silver and gold. Don't put nail it till it stands up. Right? It says all that. Right? But we did it because we saw it. We're surrounded by Halloween. Surra- surrounded by Halloween. I was just telling them how uh, when we came into the hotel um, last night, Solomon was like, man, every time I go somewhere, they got pumpkins and Halloween and this and that. He, he can't stand <laughs> this stuff or whatever. Praise y'all for it. Right? He'll be the first person to be like, man, all this stuff, I was on YouTube, and they cussing and cussing and cussing, you know? Well, you know, so I praise y'all for that, but I'm just saying, like, he, there's certain things, right, that he, at his age he needs to see. But see, we're stopping to drink the, sin- we're going to stop drinking only the sincere milk. Mm-hmm. Right? Paul said, hey, make sure, if you're at a level where you, all you do is you can suckle, then that's fine. But then you should get to a certain level where now we're going to start giving you some meat. Right? Watch this. Why is it that you have, why, people are like, why is it that I have to start making these decisions and make this decision, make that decision? you at a level where you got to start eating the sincere meat. Right? Okay, watch this. What, what, watch this. If you give meat to a baby for the first time, is it going to be difficult? Okay. So watch this. All right, watch this. When Yashva, or who people call Jesus, right? We're talking about Yashva. That's, that's the person that we're talking about, okay? That's his Hebrew name, his original name. So when Yashva, or who we call Jesus, was baptized, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they show up, right? Three and one. We believe that. No problem. Why don't we ever talk about the fact that he was tested after 40 days? So some of us are about to get baptized in this name, um, you know, Yahweh Yashva Rovach Hakodesh. When you go down, right, Father, Son, Holy Spirit showed up, but then there was forty days where He was purifying Himself so He could be ready to be tested. Look beyond what you see. Don't just get excited. I don't care if we get excited under a majestic waterfall tomorrow or, or whatever. I don't care if we get uh, um, baptized. We did a baptism in a bathtub recently. <laughs> Somebody's like, "Can you baptize me?" Okay, no problem. Right, person was like, well, I'm small, I can't really go outside like that, blah, blah, whatever. Okay, you got a bathtub. All right. <laughs> like, we do what we got to do. And I slowly lowered it down, had my hand behind, okay, and, and got her out of there as soon as possible, right? But I'm just saying, like, no matter what we're doing, somebody said, can you do it at the beach? Can you do it here? Can you do it at the pool? Can you do it wherever it is? That's fine. But are you ready for what comes after? Right? Don't, don't, what, what is it they used to say? Uh, the old saint said, you can go down um, a, dry a dry devil and turn up a wet devil, right? <laughs> Amen. Right? Now, if all, now, if all that you see, if all that you see is what? If all that I see is they wet, if that's all you came for, a lot of people do that all the time. Matter of fact, no offense to anybody. Right, because I, I didn't, I wasn't born and raised in church, but I've heard many people's stories about how they got baptized as children. They didn't want to get baptized, but Grandmama said you're gonna get in that water, right? Granddaddy said you're gonna get in that water. Mama said, Daddy said, but they didn't make a personal decision. That's why I've been talking with Solomon off and on for weeks, because he gonna get baptized. He told me today officially. He was like, Yeah, I'm ready. And we talked about it again. He he said like he said I, he even told me he said Dad, I don't know all the verses, you know. He said, but I do know Yahweh. I said, Okay. Right. Like that's that's what it's about, right? Like he has see, and once again, childlike faith. Like I love having a child because sometimes they remind you, like childlike faith, right? There's nothing like a daughter coming up to you and being like, "Daddy, buy me this." You're like, "What, girl?" <laughs> right? I don't do, but childlike faith. Just because you're my dad, just because you're my father, you should supply. That's her mindset, right? Even if you can't, just that's. Mindset, it should. And even if he says why, okay, fine. Like he still says why, but still says why to you is with the love of a of a daughter to or a love of a father to a daughter. Excuse me, right? Uh, right. So we're we're in this situation. Look beyond what you see. So when they did this convocation, it would come with a it would come with a certain type of offering. Now because Yashva is our offering, Hallelujah, right? We just finished the Day of Atonement and all that, right? Since he did 
uh, set up atonement. By the way, anybody remember some words for atonement real quick? Anybody remember we just Repentance. celebrated this? Repentance, yeah. Atonement can be what? A replacement. It can be reparations, right? So it can actually be reparations. So, so literally he paid reparations, right? A lot of people want reparations for the government, but we want what? We want reparations as far as, matter of fact, we don't want it. We have reparations from, Yash, from Yahweh through his son, Yahshua HaMashiach, right? Or through Jesus Christ, right? So now, if this is what we're talking about, right? Hear what I'm saying. All right, y'all ready for this? So now we're, get, we're now we're at a place where we are supposed to make sure that we are accepted. Now, we might have had different types of fruits. Maybe some people even explain them as being dates, depending on the translation you have. But we had all these different offerings, different things you would give. What is your offering going to be this weekend? When you go down to the water and come back up and you prepare yourself for 40 days and you're tested, what is it that you're going to start giving that you haven't given before? This, right? Right? What, like what, how much time are you going to get? Watch this. We've talked about this before. Anybody remember how much tithing time actually is? If we were to tithe time out of a day, how much time would you tithe? Two hours, 12 minutes. Two hours and 12 minutes would be a tithe. How many of us can say we've been given two twelve? I mean, if you have, you have. If the shoe fits weird, if it don't take it off, right? <laughs> right? If you, if you have, you have, right? I'm just saying. And watch this, though. You ready for this? The tithe. As much as we don't like to, as much as we be complaining about it or people argue about it back and forth, the tithe is the beginning of things. Amen. That's just what's due. You know how you wake up and you just breathe? You wake up, you should just tithe. Not just finances, time, talent, effort, energy, gifts, right? The craftsmanship of your hands. What is it that you can do? Not, not just money, right? You got more than money if you just money or whatever. We have people in here that are blessed beyond measure as far as money. That don't mean that that's the only thing they have to provide. And if that's what you think they're here for, then you got the wrong thing coming. You're going to you're gonna stunt that person's growth. And we will not allow that. Everybody got quiet. I'm going to say it again. We will not allow that. Right. There's people in here that can heal and heal and heal. We got uh, my wife. We got uh, Sister Sonia. We got many different people in here that know healing stuff. Guess what? You're not just coming to them for healing only. Then you're going to leave them alone. They're a whole person. <laughs> they're a whole person out this front. You hear what I'm saying? We have people, we have children back here that are a blessing to us or whatever. We're not just going to be like, oh, you're just a child and that's it. Like, speak into them if you're going to be around them this weekend. You hear what I'm saying? Speak into them. These children are trying to be holy. How many children growing up holy? How many children on TikTok getting millions of views because they twerking? How many children out here are making sure that they um, acting a the fool and almost... You know how they do like sneak cussing? They ain't really cussing, right, right, but they cussing. And, right. they, and getting millions of followers and stuff like that. And your child is sitting there trying their best. They want to watch it, but there ain't nothing like that out there. What are you going to do to feed them? Like, look beyond what you see. It's not as simple as little Johnny's out here watching bad stuff. What is little Johnny getting besides that? Right. I've had to be on myself about that recently. Like, I've had to get on my son's level and be like, you know your son because your son is you. Right? When you were his age, you ain't had to deal with all this stuff that's out. If you was dealing with the internet and stuff, because I, I was one of them people, if you let me play a Nintendo for eight hours, I would. So if, if he gets a chance to play whatever game he playing, he gonna play it. So are you gonna do stuff on his life? Even when he's playing, fine, don't complain about the game. Play the game with him. Yeah. See if he's actually playing something that's worth his time. Look beyond what you see. Right, what did you come here to see? Not just what do you see. I'm asking you, what did you come, that's why I asked you what you came here for. What did you come here to see? Did you only come here to see? Because um, that, if that's all you came here for, then, then we're going to do that once. You're going to go back home. You can do that by yourself, though. Mm -hmm. Did you come here to see, you know, just somebody else went down and we all praised and we all hugged and we all cried. We had an emotional experience, but we go back and we're not changed. Mm -hmm. You know what used to frustrate me, Minister Select Joseph? You've been in the church um, you know, a lot, a lot, and you've taught me some things because I haven't been as long as you, and, when, and we've had similar experiences, right? You know what used to really mess me up? You, you hear somebody preach a, a, a great sermon, and you ask people after the service, what did the preacher say? They don't know. <laughs> but she was blessed, though, right? And the preacher could say whatever, hallelujah, heavenly father, we come here, yeah, yeah, and he all right, he ain't said nothing yet. But we are more preach, preach pastor, but he ain't said nothing. I'm just saying, I'm not saying it's bad to hoop ever or all the time, I'm saying say something. 
<laughs> but you didn't come for that. You came here to hear hooping. Yeah. And so you see, and, and so you say, I feel like preaching tonight. Now he's been talking for 45 minutes, but now he feel like preaching. Then you need, I need to go somewhere else. <laughs> you just started preaching after yeah. 45 minutes. Then what was I here for? But that's why we have to learn. Like even the word circe, right? Not talking bad about it, but we just don't know what these things mean. The word circus. Yeah. A lot of people come for circus, and they don't come for assembly. Right. Two different right. meanings in the same type of word, but we don't even know the difference. <laughs> right? Like we have a lot of custom where we just show up and we just do what we've seen. Right? Somebody give me an example of something that you've seen and seen and seen, and then you learn something and just a. They don't even got to be a live session. Just something you learn in this new personal walk, and you were like, "Wow, I had no clue I was doing that." Anybody got an experience? Anybody got an experience? I'll give a quick example, right? I know a lot of you, I mentioned a lot on the lives. A lot of you, when we go over by the shut for the first time, we'll bring that up tomorrow again. It will go a little deeper because we're going to have a different, now we're actually together, so we can look at some of these things even more than what we do, believe it or not. I'd be telling you all these words, you can study them forever, right? But, but by the shut, a lot of people never knew that was the first word of the Bible. Right. Now that's the first word, and in those six characters, it literally means the son who comes out the right family, who's one with the head, uh, I'm sorry, who's one with the father, sorry, let me start over. The son who comes out the right family, who's one with the father, becomes our head by being destroyed, being led by the Holy Spirit to the cross. Six characters, first word, the number six means it's completed. First word, whole Bible completed, Yahshua's coming, he knows Adam's going to sin, he's coming to send his son. What else is there to talk about? First word. But all we saw was what? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. <laughs> no, but by the shut, by the that's just in the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. What does that mean? Does that mean anything close to by the shot? Now we read John 1 1. By the shot, same word, in the beginning. John is saying, same book, the first word that already said he's coming. I'm talking about him, the, the bit, Aleph, the son and the father. In the beginning was the bit. And the bit was with Aleph, and the bit was Aleph. The same was in this first word called Badashet. And then John 1, 14, he says, and, the same, and, and that word or that bit, that first character that's written became flesh and dwelt amongst us. In other words, the very first word and the very first letter, if you will, that you've ever re read in your Bible is who became flesh. Think about that. Now, how many people, just because you saw that one thing, you can look beyond what you've seen? You hear what I'm saying? Are, are you ready to look beyond what you see, or did you just come to see some more of the same thing, but just we can say that it's a, a task to Yahweh now? Oh. <laughs> right? Are we just going to replace Jesus with Yahshua? Are we just going to replace church with assembly? Are we just going to pray? Whatever it is, like, are we just, because we did that in the world. You know, we used, to, we used to just do whatever we felt like and then say, okay, well, you know, God knows my heart. And now we go to church services and stuff, and we say, well, you know what? Yeah, I'm not doing everything, but God knows. I mean, we just replace one thing for another. Are we going to do that again this weekend? Is that what we came for? No. <laughs> right? I hope, that, I hope we came for more than just, I'm going to keep just replacing, but I'm not going to move. Right? I'm sorry. Let me check my thing. Okay. Praise y'all. Praise you. Hallelujah. Ooh, that's a long hmm? way to the choice. Oh, oh, wow. Thank you. What'd you say? We moved ourselves all the way to the choice. Amen. We came all the way to yeah. we came all the way to Detroit. We came all the way to the deep to look beyond what we see, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> like 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 this is this is not this this could be the beginning of something. Matter of fact, we're gonna call it what it is. This is the beginning of something that's greater than anything that you've experienced, right? This is the beginning, right? Don't let anything stop your beginning. May I say that today, right? We take notes and all the other stuff. Take note of this. Don't let anything. anything. Don't let anything. Oh, I'm going to be tired tonight. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to talk to you tonight. I don't care how tired you are. Don't let anything. Pastor Hamilton, I'm sorry to pick you up, Pastor, but Pastor's a great leader, so I got to use another <laughs> example, right? Pastor Hamilton today got off. What time did you get off work, sir, if you don't mind? 8, 8 a.m. this rising, drove, traveled from North Carolina all the way over here, and was here before everybody else even got here, left, said I needed some rest, said, no, nope, let me come back in the house, right? The house that he, the, the house that if anybody should be able, I mean, well, actually, since he's, he's, the, he's the leader, he, he, he got to be held more accountable than the rest of us, but you would, you would think, you, but you would think, <laughs> that's how it would be. I was trying to give you some leeway, and the Holy Spirit said, I can't, you, you know better than me, right? But, but I'm just saying, if anybody could have found a way to finesse his way out of it, that's true. the person who's letting us come here 
It's telling us even though we're gonna bless you with something, especially down the road, but 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 it's telling you you don't even gotta give us nothing. If anybody could have been like, yo, okay, I, I, I'm coming tomorrow. I told you I was only really going to come tomorrow. Anyway, I was going to try to make it, but I told you really just look for me tomorrow. If anybody could do it, but guess what? Bless the Lord. Amen. Came right back in the house, right? Amen. Look beyond what, and literally tonight, your testimony is look beyond what you see. Mm. Literally, your testimony is that tonight, right? Like, so, so I'm just trying to say, like, there's no excuse for it this week. And I know that don't sound like that's not happy preaching. That's not touch seven people and declare your, 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 you know, your dreams and your visions done, right? And I'm not mad at that type of preaching, but I'm just here to tell you tonight, I don't know if this is going to be profound or not. I'm just here to tell you, to this, this weekend, especially today and tomorrow mainly, look beyond what you see. Some of y'all to get here, look beyond what you see, right? Some of y'all experience just getting here. Look beyond what you see. Some of us, we don't talk to people like that. This is just, this is different because we, we talking to people this weekend. Yes. Praise you, like for real. Some of us yes. got past anxiety. Some people got past anxiety, right? We got deported. <laughs> yep, got deported. Like watch this, and I'm always a stickler for time. I'm always a stickler, stickler for time, Pastor. I didn't have time to tell you this because you, uh, you rolled out. I, 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 I'm trying to rush because we were getting ready to get, you know, to go together to restaurant or whatever. We got to have a certain dress code, and I don't think that I have you know, what's required or whatever, so at least bare minimum, I'm thinking I need to get myself and, and the guys some shoes. So I press the wrong place. My wife tells me exactly what Walmart to go to. But Walmart. I look on, but I just, all I do is type in Walmart, yeah, I tell, dear Lord, dear and I see the first, I see the first thing that pops up, and it's in Canada. I don't know any better. And we ended up going over to Canada, had to get checked out over there, <laughs> then had to come back into America, had to get checked out over there. And y'all know me, so I started, and I stopped, I started to get into my sovereignty speech, so one of the guys didn't like that, so he decided he was going to really show his behind or whatever, so I shut up, and I was like, okay, we ain't got time. So I'm thinking, we're not going to make it. I'm thinking not only are we going to have one of the person, people who went through something not make it, I'm going to have to call Sister Mary and be like, I'm so sorry. That I like like I, I'm the one I'm the I'm the one calling everybody up text blah blah this and that that's the reason why we ran a little behind because I'm sitting there I got my family in Canada trying to get back into the states right <laughs> now if y'all think I went through all that to be able to come here and let like if if the Canadian border and the American border couldn't stop us <laughs> you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying like we ain't stopping or whatever you see what I'm saying like what did you come here for look beyond what you see and all these things watch this. Do you know, do you not know that Paul, I'm sorry, Paul, excuse me, David, do you know that Devad, whose name actually means beloved, beloved, let not your heart be troubled, that means David, Devad, right? But he, when David spoke, he said, he said, I won't even give the most high an offering or I won't give him anything unless it costs me something. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't cost him something, he said, I can't even give it to him, right? Look beyond what you see. Oh, it's costing me this and that. Yeah, it might cost, it might cost you. Uh, Paul, you're going to preach the word to people. What will it cost you? You might not be able to see for three days, bro. Mm -hmm. Paul, you want to preach the word. What will it cost you? Man, 21 years, I, three times at least I came to the most high talking about I got this thorn in my side. Please remove it from me. And he said, Paul, I don't care about that, that thorn. My grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, look beyond what you see. Paul, you want to preach the word. Look, man, I was a Hebrew of the Hebrews. I killed more Hebrews and more followers of the way than all y'all even know about, right? But at the end of the day, <laughs> when, I, when I came into the knowledge of who Yahshua was, like, I was a rock star. Paul was like the, the Elon Musk, if you will, kind of not as far as riches, but like people knew who Paul was. We think that Paul just showed up on the scene. No, Paul was known around. He was a Roman citizen he was, and, and a Hebrew citizen. He was known all around the place. And yet he said, when I found out who Yahshua was and who Jesus was, he said it was at that point I realized that everything I knew was as dumb. That being said, that a horse or, or an animal, a beast would chew it up and then and, and pass it out. He said, and that's what his knowledge was worth before. Like, look beyond what you see. He said, as far as what you saw, I was the greatest among you. He said, but now I'm chief sinner. Mm. Mm. Chief. Wow. Chief, that means I'm in charge. Like, and so that's when people be coming up to me. Oh, Kofi, you know, I can't tell you. Know, pastor, people coming to her. Well, you know, Pastor, I did this, and I, I, I've been dealing with this for two years and stuff. And you be looking at them like, man, girl, if you knew, a boy, if you knew all the stuff I done did, and you coming to me with that little thing, if you knew how many people I killed with my tongue, and you talking about you feel bad because you and your spouse, well, you know how many times that, that I've said stuff and I felt bad about what I said about my children, you for the first time in your 20s. It's like, but they don't know this. Like, I'm chief sinner. Like, like, put yourself in a position where you stop saying that you're better than somebody and realize that really, if it wasn't for your hubba, you'd be more messed up than they are. Yeah. 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 
look beyond. Come on, look beyond what you see. Like, if it's only about what you see, we ain't going to get that far. And watch this. I don't want to take my family down the path that I see. Because because it wasn't that long ago. My wife would tell you it wasn't that long ago that I couldn't see me taking care of my family. And now I believe Yah, Yah who says that I'm able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I can ever ask and think. Like, I think, I'm, I'm serious. Like, people be, people be thinking, like, the most high. I tell y'all, I be telling y'all the truth, right? My, my family's here is my witness. I do not really make money. And yet somehow we, we move more than everybody else does. I don't, it doesn't even make sense. People will ask me, like, like give me the scripture. Give me the, I'll be like, look, I'm obedient. I don't even know. I just obedient. I can't, I can't tell you how it works. Like sometimes you, people, people want you to give them the, tell me what Bill Gates did. Like, look, I, 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 didn't, I didn't have to do with Bill Gates. And I'm no shade to Bill Gates on that. Like Bill Gates got his money. Great. Get your money, right? But I, I don't know about that. All I know is I'm obedient. Right? I can't tell you how I went. I mean, literally, I can't tell you how I was happy when two people would come on a live for two, three minutes apiece. Yeah. And now we might have a live where up to a thousand people come on. Right? Yeah. But I've had to start looking beyond what I saw because I didn't think I deserved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't think I deserved. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody ever been there? Like, I, like you don't think, you don't think, like, I only want, like, and, I'm, and thank you for the past, but I'm just saying, like, has anybody here today, like, you don't even think you deserve it. Amen. It's not even about whether you deserve it. Mm. Can I say that? Even if somebody watching, whatever, right? Like, it's not about whether we deserve it. Look beyond what you see. I don't deserve to preach, no. Okay, now that we got that out the way, you're going to preach? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I don't deserve to be able to do, yeah, that's why you couldn't die for yourself. Y'all sure did it. I don't deserve to have my husband or my wife. No, you don't. <laughs> no, well, if you knew what they did, you still don't deserve them. Yeah. Do you know what that man did to me? You still don't deserve them. You know what she did? You still don't deserve them. Because as messed up as you are, they still there. And everybody else that you bring up against your spouse, you can talk bad about your spouse, all, but guess what? All these other people you run into to talk bad about them, they ain't going to come home with you and stay there and let you talk bad about them. So you don't deserve them. I don't deserve my wife. I told her that when we got married, I was going to work the rest of my life to show her that I deserve her. Amen. And I still don't, but it don't matter. I'm going to keep working. Amen. Right? Look beyond what you see. Right? I don't deserve my children. No, you don't. But guess what? They deserve you to be at your best. What you going to do? Amen. I don't deserve my grandchildren. Okay, so what? What you gonna do to be at the best to give them everything that they need? I don't deserve this building. Okay, so what? What you gonna do to make sure that when you build the other end, when we come back to Detroit some other time, and we gonna see the other end, and we gonna be able to be a blessing, and we gonna be able to help you with all the people y'all gonna have coming in and out, and all the people y'all gonna clothe and feed and all that stuff? Yeah, faster than hip to the vision. You showed me the blueprint. There's a lot of people y'all don't even know. They own this stuff over here. All right. So they're going to make sure that they're doing stuff with this, right? Look beyond what you see. You stepping in here. See, that's why before you leave, whether it's tonight, tomorrow night, or when we get up and pray, even though we won't be praying here at this spot, for those who might come to the service, if you're here with us when we come on Sunday to support the service, like, I want you guys to know that, like, you need to pray over this place. Amen. Because this place, excuse me, this place right here, like, if you know about Detroit, and how much they keep messing over our people. Yes. They need people like this. Amen. They, need, uh, they need some Hamiltons in their life. Amen. They need some, some, some love joys in their life. I apologize. I don't know. I'll be forgetting the last names. But they, they need y'all too. Please forgive me, right? Amen. But they, we got, we got, huh? Lauren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm sorry. What was the name again, sir? No, no, no. Arlette. Arlette. Okay. I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm bad with names in general. So, but, but 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 please but please forgive me. But know that we 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 have love for you, amen. And thank you for stopping by, right? But I'm just saying, like, and there's people who haven't made it. There's more people coming tomorrow, right? Like, it starts with us, though. Look beyond what you see. What has your whole life been? What's, have you gone through everything? I'm sorry. Let me check my time. Amen. Hallelujah. Like, have you gone through everything in your life to come here and just go back home and let it be the same? Like, or can this be the changing point? Right? Can this be the changing point? I don't care. Like this right here, I don't care what it looks like to anybody. This is going to be the changing point. Amen. Right? This is going to be the changing point. Right? <laughs> Amen. It's pretty, it matches. It, actually, I never thought about that. It matches everything. I love that. Right? Praise God. 
right? <laughs> I ain't think about that. Hallelujah. But I'm just saying, like, like it's like this is the changing point. Today I will never be the same again. But somebody says that all the time. Will you will today be the change? See, how many times somebody say, I'll never be the same again, then tomorrow, why am I going through the same things? Right. Right. See, that's what I'm saying. No excuses this time. Peel, peel your church face off this weekend. Uh -oh. <laughs> I know you're used to making sure that you put your church face on and your, and your, lash, your church lashes is on and all that stuff. Like, you're going to have to get ugly this weekend. Why? Because I'm not saying ugly, but see, you go by somebody else's, we talk about it all the time, you go by somebody else's culture. And in somebody else's culture, they say that you're ugly. But in our culture, you're beautiful the way you are. Amen. So I need you to be yourself, genuine. I need you to be yourself. Show, show, show yourself. Be willing to go ahead and do that. Shoot. We had people prophesying before we started. <laughs> and we were sitting there, I was trying to introduce Pastor Hamilton. We just looked at each other. I said, you see what's happening, Pastor. He said, yep. And we just kept on talking like nothing happened. Why? Because people need, um, what does the Bible say? Yahshua said he came to set the captives free. Yeah. And we live in the land of our captivity. Today's the day to set the captives free. What is it that sets you free? The truth shall set you free. You've been captivated by lies, brothers and sisters. You've been captivated by the lie that says that you're not enough. You've been captivated by the lie that says that you don't belong. I'm trying to, I'm, you know what? I'm going to be obedient. You've been, some, some, y'all know who I'm talking to, <laughs> right? Some of y'all have been captivated when they told us that we wasn't black or white enough. Uh, amen. But this weekend, ain't nobody said a thing about that, have we? No. So, to, so peel that off. Mm. Somebody up here, you've been captivated. Some of y'all been captivated because they messed with you and they took your, they took your chastity without permission. Mm. Peel that off this weekend. It's tough. I love you too much to let you come here with me and keep wearing that, though. Mm. You've been wearing that all your life. Now your babies are starting to wear it if you're not careful. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. And I love them too much. Mm. I love you too much. And we ain't finished. <laughs> we ain't finished. Because some of y'all, some of y'all still don't believe that you're as great as your parents were. Wow. You're going to peel that off this weekend. Because I love you too much to keep walking, having you walk around with that. Some of you don't think that you're necessary. Everything that's happening, you're the one making stuff happen, but you're telling everybody that it could happen without you. But if it wasn't for you, it wouldn't happen. We're going to peel that off this weekend. Why do you feel like that? Hallelujah. If I ain't knocked on your door yet, hallelujah, praise you <laughs> And I'm not trying to. I'm just being obedient. I'm sorry, Brother Thomas. We almost at time. Problem's not going to go, go over, over time, I promise you. We at like 9 o'clock. I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm, right? I'm just here to tell you, right? Like, you're going to peel them things off today. Yes. Like, there's a lot of people out there. Yes, they told you that this looks good. And yes, they told you that this is the makeup. And yes, they told you this. And I'm talking about spiritually now and emotionally now. They told you to cover up. You ain't no, right? If you want to get better, you ain't going to cover up. How many, how many years did they keep telling women wear makeup that was messing your face up more than it would if you just healed it? You know what really opened my eyes? My wife is here as my witness. We go back to uh, Ghana. Um, there's a lady. We are getting ready. We have a lot of gifts for people that we're bringing. Oh, yeah. And um, there's a lady. We're going to give her this really nice, and she'd have to tell you the brand. I don't know the brands, but a really nice brand of makeup. Um, she spent personally out of her pocket a whole bunch of money for this, uh, I don't know if it was a, what you would call it, whatever, kit, whatever, bag. I don't know. <laughs> right? But had a lot of expensive, like seriously expensive makeup. Like my wife. Um, and, her, and her mother said they know their makeup very well, right? So like, um, so they, so like serious, serious, like top of the line, can't get any better than it. And the woman looks at it and she goes, I don't, I wouldn't know what to do with this. She's like, I'm not trying to be mean. I just, she was like, I don't know how to put on makeup. I don't even know what to do with this. Now it took us a second to realize like, oh yeah, like she's in a culture that she can be herself. And by being herself and just eating right and just being in the sun and stuff, she looks like a whole bunch of sisters that are trying their best to cover up stuff. I don't know how all this stuff works, but you know, we cover up with the foundation and do this and do that and put all this stuff on whatever. And at the end of the day, she's like, I'm just gonna be myself. Amen. And then so we had to give her a whole different gift. Well, okay, we got this expensive <laughs> perfume, which you like that and said. And she was like, Well, 
I don't really wear perfume like that. <laughs> but you know, I'll take it though, as to, to, to be thankful, to be grateful, right? But, but see what I'm saying, like as a culture, we come over there like to a place to where you're the standard, but you're so used to not being the standard that you bring over somebody else's way of thinking to being like, if I just bring this and show you why we're the standard. Joy. Her name was Joy. Okay, I didn't even remember that. Her her name was Sister Joy. I like her. Right? Funny. <laughs> yeah, she was funny. <laughs> she was very funny. So it but and Sister Joy, actually she used to crack jokes on Pastor uh Pastor, the pastor we were with all the yeah. time. She used to make funny anyway. <laughs> but 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 long story short, like I learned really quick, like I'm coming over with different sensibilities thinking that's a blessing to somebody. And the reality is is they're like, I don't know what to do this. Why? Because over here I am the standard. And how am I the standard? Because over here, being myself is the standard. We used to be in somebody else's standard that says you got to look like somebody else, you got to work for somebody else, you got to job out, you got to toil. But all the people, they, like they told us as a black community, you remember they told us this? Y'all remember, this, this is a lie. I know we ain't gonna, some of us ain't gonna wanna hear this, but you remember it wasn't that long ago, right? Now I'm young enough and old enough at the same time <laughs> to remember that if I just went to college, mm -hmm then my whole life was going to be better. And then we started going to college, and they still paid us less. The prices went up higher. And now it was young, and no, no offense to our counterparts, I think they're actually intelligent to do this, but young white men are taking the charge and saying we're done with college and we're just trying to start careers. Right? Now, it was, it was cool to do when only certain rich white men, not all white men, just certain rich white men. That's why it's called a bachelor's degree, by the way. Right, what is a bachelor? A bachelor is not a bachelorette. Mm -hmm. A bachelor is not a wife. Wow. A bachelor is not a husband. Good. A bachelor, right? It's called a bachelor's degree. I know they told you ladies to get a bachelor's, yeah. sorry, queens to get a bachelor's degree, but why would you get a bachelor's degree and you're not even a bachelor? Yeah. That should tell you something's oh, not right. No. <laughs> I'm just saying, we've been lied to. Right, bamboozled, run them up, all that stuff, right? Something ain't making sense, right? Eligible bachelors. You should be eligible to be a bachelor, let alone get a bachelor's degree, right? Which means now, forget all the stuff you're talking about LGBTQ+. They were telling you, oh yeah, stop being feminine and start being masculine so that you could be something that you're not even called to be. I'm not saying you're not called to be educated, but you're not called to be a bachelor. Wow. Right? How many, how many of y'all, how many of y'all sisters in here gave birth to babies because you were bachelors? Who taught you that? See what I'm saying? Look beyond what you see. We've seen something that's ate up. We thought it was okay to be a United States citizen. Come to find out the United States is a corporation. 28 USC 300215A clearly states that this is not a country. It is a, co it is a corporation. And who owns prisoners, by the way? Corporations. And here's the definition of capitalism, right? We've heard this over and over again. Definition of capitalism is defined as what? A system in which politics and economics are used to control trade and industry. That trade industry is wielded by private corporations instead of the state. So if you want to know who tells the president what to do, go ahead and see who makes the most money. Because the United States is not a country. It is a corporation. 28 U.S.C. 300215A. If you need it on your notes, just ask me after I'll give it to you so you can look it up on your own. The people don't believe it. And then it's like, look up what the government themselves say. And then come back and tell me I'm wrong. And if the government supports me more than you can support me, that's why Yahshua said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 10 through 12, our sweet spot, the Sermon on the Mount, he said what? Blessed is it when people revile you and rebuke you and, exhort, and say all this manner of evil against you. For what? For his name's sake, right? Because they did the same thing to the prophets that came. And when they do it, we should rejoice and be exceeding glad. That's why you guys have started hearing me say something on the live. When they start coming against me, I start saying, thank you for depreciating me, because all you do is, what, appreciating me. In other words, the more you try to make me go down in value, depreciate, the higher I go up in value in the kingdom. I appreciate it. My haters on my throat, right? Hallelujah, right? So since the time is pretty much here, right, I'm just going to say it like this, look beyond what you see. Look beyond what you see. What did you come for? Not just look beyond what you've seen. I didn't say that. That's not the theme. Look beyond what you see. What do you see right now? Because I see strong brothers. I see divine sisters. And by the way, just because you're divine doesn't mean you're not strong. And just because you're strong doesn't mean you're not divine. But hear what I'm saying, right? I got to make sure I say that because we keep going by somebody else's labels, right? But I see some people that are ready to change the world. Amen. It only took 12 to turn. That's what your Bible said, right? Read your Bible to bless you. It took 12 people to turn the world upside down. <laughs> how many people we got? I think more than 12, right? Okay. So, so it's not about how many you see here. 
It's about what? Are you are you ready to turn this? We, when we was in the world, we say you ready to turn this mother out. Right. <laughs> right. And sometimes we say something between mother and out. Yeah, yeah, no. Right. When we turn the roof off the mother, Lord. we didn't always say suck it right yeah. after mother. Right. Uh, if I can say it like that. Right. And I'm gonna be careful, Pastor. I promise. Right. No. But I'm just saying, we we used to be okay with saying it's time to go to war. Be ready. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Right. And we loved, like, that's, I was playing that. When that thing came out, I played that thing out. I played that thing out. Like, for real. Right? But we ready to go to war for somebody else. Man, I was ready. Like, put me put me up front. Tell me what to do. I was proud. Like, hey, I want to be, I don't want to be able to shoot any kind of gun you put in my hand. Right? I was ready to fight for that. Right? For, for a flag that wasn't ready to fight for me. Whoa. Right? I was ready to fight for everybody else. Okay, well, fine. It's time to look beyond what you see. We fought for people that are our enemy. Why not fight for people that are working, um, with the, working with the same purpose? Why not fight for the one who made the heavens and the earth? Amen. Why not fight with a body shot spirit from the beginning? Mm-hmm. Peel off your church face this weekend. Mm-hmm. Pull, off your, pull, off your fa- pull off them faces that you keep wearing. I know it's okay. Yeah, you know, I don't cry in front of other people. I'm strong. The sisters be doing that more than brothers low key. Right? Low key. Right? Slang for, you know, quiet as kept. <laughs> right, quiet is kept. Sisters be doing that more than brothers because sisters go through a lot more and they don't have no security nowadays. Right, but this weekend it's okay. I promise you, it's okay to be divine. Okay, I promise you, it's okay to be f- finesse. I promise you, it's okay to be feminine. I promise you, this weekend, brothers, it's okay to be masculine because brothers ain't allowed to be masculine in their own home. Wow. And then family's talking about what's wrong with Pop Pop. What's wrong with Dad? I tell you, what's wrong with Pop Pop? He ain't himself. Testosterone level is low. He ain't even allowed to watch the game. You know, just watching the game is testosterone level to raise up. You don't even let him do that. Chris Rock, we were listening to some Chris Rock comedy. Chris Rock talking about how how dare you keep the big piece of chicken? <laughs> how dare you? Who, who you said? Who the do you think you are? Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Right? He said how? He said who the do you think you are to withhold the big piece of chicken? Right? But this week we're gonna honor everybody where they are. Hallelujah. We're going to honor you wherever you are. I'm going to be busy, obviously. We're going to have a lot of teaching tomorrow. It's going to be straight. Like, once we finish baptism, we're going to have a, we're going to have a, 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 a we're going to take a break. <laughs> Amen, no problem. Right after we finish baptism, we're going to take a little break. Then we're going to eat. Then we're going to get some teaching. We're going to eat. And after we eat, ministerial staff is going to come up, and then we, we get, we're going in. We're going in. And I've heard these preachers preach. They ready. They ready, right? So, and after after they get their licenses and everything, and we make sure that we uh, show love to those that we weren't able to show love to in person before. Then after that, guess what we about to do? We about to go beyond what we see. From this point on, we'll ne- like you. I, I ask you this, and then I'm done. My time is up. Excuse me. I ask you this, and it's just you don't have to repeat it. You don't have to say. It. I'm just asking you to talk to yourself, speak to yourself. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself, right? I'm asking you to speak to yourself this weekend and say that I promise you, sometime you're gonna look in the mirror, look in your phone, do whatever you gotta do, close your eyes and talk to yourself, but you're gonna say, I promise you that I'm not gonna let you down this weekend. Because if I don't let you down this weekend, all it takes is one day. If you can do this for one day, you can do it for one week. If you can do this for one week, you can do this for one month. If you can do it for one month, you can do this for one year. If you can do this for one year, you can do this for one lifetime. Amen. That's how habits work. Day at a time, I get to I get to a, a week, th- four more, uh, three more of them. I get to a month. That's when the habit form. If I do that for a year, pretty much I'm not gonna stop doing it, <laughs> right? So I pro- so I'm asking you to promise yourself some point this year that you. I'm sorry, this year, <laughs> today, right, and tomorrow, right, that you will not let yourself down. All right, baptism. I'm gonna let you guys know. So let's go ahead and just get that out the way. Prayerfully, everybody has a towel. We'll try to get a couple towels and stuff to make sure everybody has. But just bring a towel with you. We're trying to do baptism at 9:30 as of right now, because it seems like it's going to be pretty cold outside. <laughs> so as of right now, this is probably what's going to happen. We had a pool situation set up, and they never told me that apparently the pool isn't working. We might have another pool for some of the people that get. We might have to. We might figure out something for because uh, Minister Selection Ron. And man, so it's like Joseph, they got to do the podcast tomorrow. So we'll figure something out, and we'll be on the fly. To uh, you said, um, you said just to, we're gonna text each other, right? Early to see what's going on. Okay, all right. So we'll figure that out. 
Everybody else, though, as of right now, 930, we need to be here, right? It starts off with what? See, watch this. In sports, they got a term. What's the uh, brothers probably know this term already, right? Or this, this saying. The, the greatest uh, in sports, the greatest ability is what? Availability. Oh, see, oh, my wife, my wife done learned, listened to me listen to sports so much, she probably already know. It's availability, right? So I don't care how great you are, right? If you don't show up to the game, then, then it don't matter. Right? If I can't trust you to show up on time for the game, you can only show up for fourth quarters, you get fired. Because we need you for four quarters, not the fourth quarter. And a lot of people are like, well, I showed up and I was the best person. See, I scored the winning ground. No, no, bro, like... Yeah, like we, we need we need you for the whole game. We wouldn't have had to worry about the end of the game had you been here. Oh wow! Right, the ba the best so the best ability is availability. Even that, peel that off this weekend. Right, all these things that are keeping us from today. Did tomorrow? I will not let myself down. What'd you say? <laughs> Okay, if the positive side is that I've never made a mistake or I'll never make a mistake or I, I, I'll show up to meet and I'll only, I'll only do positive things, whichever way it works, right? For me, it's positive to never let myself down. If it's for you, it's negative to say you let yourself down. Say it the opposite way. So what's the, the positive way would be what? Like, I, I will show up on time for everything. Awesome, right? And if you show up for everything, you're not going to not show up for everything, right? So whichever way, as long as what? I don't care what language you need to tell yourself because we all speak different love languages, right? So whatever you need to tell yourself, fine. Make sure you choose positive and on time. Make sure you're negative and on time. <laughs> okay? Whichever one, <laughs> whatever one you need, I don't know you, right? Never get you. I'm just saying, right? No, no, she keeps me, she keeps me, she keeps, she, she's very big about etymology and somebody who's etymology, like I can appreciate the fact like she keeps me on my toes. Amen, hallelujah. So, but that's all I have. Time is up. Thank you so much for being here. Um, thank you again to Pastor Hamilton. Thank you again to uh, Big Brother Thomas and Big Sister Tanya uh, putting in for all the stuff out here. For putting that work in. Um, thank you for the hospitality. Thank you, um, sisters, for coming out as well. Hopefully we'll see you throughout the weekend. I know we, got, we probably got some others that are coming as well, and I look forward to joining with you guys on Sunday. Um, as well for your service and thank you so much uh, for the opportunity. I'm, I'm thankful for, um, by the way, thank you to SOC of course. I'm thankful uh, most of all to uh, my wife for uh, really doing a lot of the lion's share stuff as far as this because if it was up to me y'all just got some teaching and some baptism. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my, my wife, my lovely wife, as like I, t I said this this rising, right? During the rising service I was, um, I think Minister Select Joseph was with me when I was saying and I was like I was like, you know, I was talking about, yeah, we're going to do this and do that. First question, like, what's the logo? What's the bag? So I wouldn't, I don't think, you know, men don't think about that. <laughs> so I'll think of. I was asking, where you going to show the baptism? Uh, we will record the baptism. I don't know if everybody wants the baptism out for everybody, so we'll at least have a link for those. Uh, we probably won't show it, um, you know, publicly on TikTok, right? Um, so if, if, if you would like to see it or whatever, we can't have it in certain places, especially for Patreon members, or if you reach out to us or whatever, we know that your SOC family will make sure that we mm -hmm. can do that, but you know, I, I wanna, you know, secure, keep people secure. So if people don't want their baptism out there, you know, we'll ask everybody individually, we'll, and we can cut whatever people don't want, all right? So we'll, we'll look at that, thank you for the question. So, but that's all I have, we wanna be obedient, so thank you again, we appreciate you, we honor you, thank you babe for everything that you've done. Thanks for allowing this to flow the way that it's flowing. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming. So we'll see you tomorrow, um, right now. You know what? Let's just make it official because it's too confusing. Outside of Joseph and Sharon, who we're going to call and talk to and figure out what we're going to do, everybody else, let's just be ready 930 here. Okay? Let's just do it that way. It's simple. All right? Um, so get some sleep if you can. I know. I know everybody do different, but get some sleep if you can. Um, we appreciate you guys. We honor you all. We thank you again. Um, we appreciate you. Thank you, Mom, Mother Rose. Thank you to Young Master Solomon in the back. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you for those who pushed <laughs> they pushed and pushed to make it. And those who are still pushing on the road, we appreciate you. So that's all I have. Let's go ahead and, um, and pray out. And um, everybody, you know, be safe on their journeys back to their destinations. Heavenly Father, we come to you once again thanking you for this um, time. We cherish you. We honor you. We're so thankful and grateful for everything that you're doing. First of all, we ask that you fill this place with your spirit. 
with your sweet spirit, uh, spirit. Let this praise and this worship and this flow and this prayer be um, sweet savor unto thy, nost thy nostrils. Um, let it be something that overflows thy train right now. We feel it filling the temple. We feel it filling this place. So as it fills this place, we take notice of it right now. We praise you. We say hallelujah upon um, our tongues as it comes out. We say thank you, Yahweh. We thank you. We say thank you, Yahshua. We say thank you to the the Holy Spirit. We lift you up. There's none like you. There's none besides you. There's none who's ever done anything. You are the only true and wise and righteous Elohim. There's nobody beside you. There never has been. There never will be. We ask that you bless this um, meeting. You bless um, these teachings that are coming up. You bless these preachers. You bless everybody who's here. You bless those on the way. We're asking for covering for those that are on their way. We're asking for covering for those even over the signal, for those who are going to watch this on um, on uh, Zoom and other um, places tomorrow. We're asking for you to be with us. We're, we're thanking you in advance for you helping us out. We're asking that you help us to, and, and encourage us to be in position wherever we need to be. Um, help us once again to peel off these faces, these false bravados that we have that take us away from being our true self because we can't worship you without spirit and truth. So we asking for spirit and truth, Yahweh. We pray spirit and truth, Yahweh. We pray spirit and truth. We fill this place with spirit and truth. We pray, we fill our hearts with spirit and truth. We, we 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 ask for the eyesight of spirit and truth. We ask for leadership to have spirit and truth. We ask for those that are on TikTok to have spirit and truth. We ask for those in the city of Detroit to start living by spirit and truth. We speak spirit and truth over every police officer. We speak spirit and truth over every condemned place of living. We speak spirit and truth over every vehicle. We speak spirit and truth over every family's financial situation. We speak spirit and truth over this building. We speak spirit and truth over this pastor and this first lady. We speak spirit and truth over first lady Maya. We speak spirit and truth over every single disciple of you. We speak spirit and truth over everybody who's under the sound of my voice. We speak spirit and truth to those who are represented. We speak spirit and truth to those babies in the back right now. We speak spirit and truth over the food that's prepared. We speak spirit and truth um, um, over every heart, over every passion, over every tongue that's spoken, hallelujah, over every mindset that's there, over every corrupt spirit, over every um, um, angelic spirit, we speak spirit and truth. We have spirit and truth in our leadership as far as leading us down the right path. We speak spirit and truth over your word, for it is a light unto our path. We speak spirit and truth over every disciple, every teaching, every discipline that is within your name. We speak spirit and truth to that person right now that feels like they're not enough. We cast out that fear because it's not spirit and truth. We speak spirit and truth to that brother right now that's saying that he can't be a better husband because it's not true. It's not spirit and truth. We cast out that, that, that demonic um, spirit that says that somebody feels like they might do something to their bodies and stop their living today. We speak against that thing right now because it's not spirit and truth. It's not spirit and truth. It's not spirit and truth. Throw it out right now. You have the reality. You have the ability in the name of Yahshua to be able to cast that thing out right now. We speak, we declare, we decree it right now. That thing that you were raised in, you said, I have to act like what I was raised in. We declare that thing cast out if it's not of him. Just because somebody raised you in filth doesn't mean you have to remain a pig. It's not spirit and truth. We're not casting pearls this weekend before swine. Nobody in here is swine. Therefore, stop thinking of yourself as swine. That's so the Holy Spirit. You are not a pig. You are not swine. You are not to eat dirt. You are not to be able to be unclean and defiled and illegal and unlawful in the kingdom of heaven. You are lawful. You are clean. You are amazing. You And so the, so the and so we praise Yah for the pearls that you shall receive. You're going to receive them because you're able to, right? We thank Yah. And then for those who keep thinking that they're pigs, we praise Yah that their thinking will change because they're going to peel off that pig face. We're going to peel off all those things. We thank you. We honor you. Now unto you who's able to keep us from falling. And unto you who's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think, according to the power that you've placed within us, we give you all glory. All majesty, all dominion, and all power, both now and forever, it is in the mighty and master's name of Yahweh Elohim that we pray, praise, proclaim, project, and protect this weekend by saying together, Amen. Amen. So what time? What time are we gonna be here tomorrow? All right. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll see you then. Nine o'clock. Well, yeah, really nine o'clock. Amen. Great point. Nine a.m. Is that way we get started? Nine thirty. Hallelujah. All right. There we go. Can't get here. Same time.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me too.